This is a very rundown old building. So without knocking the building down, we converted the same building into an office. And that's what makes it so convenient because I live next door. I was dreaming to see what one could do with this. We were actually originally situated in a basement of an office and, and we were there for many years and then the thought struck me saying that, well, you know, with so much of greenery around and so much of openness and quietness in this place, why don't we convert this into an office? The idea was to create as much of an op open atmosphere as possible. So that meant a lot of hard work of breaking a lot of existing walls. The color palettes we use is very simple, earthy, as earthy as you can, as much of wood as possible, as much of whites as possible. We've not used a single color here. We've used tremendous amount of wood everywhere. You see the ceiling above us, you see the wooden flooring behind you, you see the amount of woodwork that we've done. So we kept it just as wood and white everywhere all the way through. My room, my corner where I can slip in and slip out whenever I want. I think the amount of interaction we all have in the terrace of our cafeteria for when, whenever there are competitions, whenever we're all jamming together, the whole office sort of gets together in the cafeteria and we jam over drawings, schemes. It's a family. I give them ample freedom and it's, that's freedom, that's what has brought us where we are today. If I kept saying that I would do everything, it doesn't stop. So most of our senior architects who've been there and who have teams, it's these teams that perform. And everything is run by me, of course. And we take it forward. That's how, that's the whole philosophy of NBA, of teams working very effectively together. I've spent 12 years here, but the rest of the people have spent more number of years here. So it's like a very uh, jovial kind of an atmosphere and we all have fun when we're working. And there's like proper trust, you know, they hand over a project to you, then they trust you completely with the project and taking it forward. So that is one plus point where you get to run your own projects like completely independent. It was a new city, new people, new culture. Uh, but Venkatsa was very savvy in kind of judging our strengths and you know, he would like catch on immediately and put uh, you in the right project and uh, that is what actually helped us grow. Working with Venkat at NVA, you know, one gets to absorb the 35 years of experience that the firm carries. I remember working on a booklet with uh, Venkat a few years back where we were documenting projects from the very early years down to the middle years and all the way up to some recent works that the firm was doing. And I think what we've tried to do is bold by taking an old structure Literally, I mean, without breaking down to pieces, to try to convert the whole space into an attractive office space. I think that's been bold. Well, our design philosophy has been very, very simple. Contemporary and minimalistic. That's been our style. And this fell right into our hat. Because this was, if you, again, if you look at the building, it's very simple. It's contemporary. I must also add a fact that I am greatly influenced by my previous boss. I used to work for a very famous architect called Jeffrey Bawa in Sri Lanka. And Jeffrey Bawa kept insisting that there should be a lot of courtyards, as much of green, as much of water, and keep the structures as simple as possible, but let the language speak for itself. And that's what it is.